damn girl. This is the one right here. You put your foot in this one. Mm -mm -mm. Not quite, but I did try a new seasoning I found at the store. I'm glad you liked it. You put it down. <laughs> you know what? And you know what? And speaking of putting it down, can you make sure you put the trash all the way down when you take it out? Them damn raccoons are worse than the bums and the prospects. They just everywhere. Um, no, Gary. I cooked you dinner. The least you could do is take the trash out. Come on now, be a man. I know what y'all think. What type of man will allow his woman to take out the trash? But, but you don't understand my logic. Women are always talking about they can do everything a man does. Who am I to disagree? Hell, I'm just trying to empower her. But baby, I'm tired. They want me out today to work. I worked overtime. I work overtime too, Gary, and I still cooked you dinner. You know what? I even cook for you on my days off. So I don't want to hear nothing about you being tired, Gary. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. She does everything. Did you redo the stairs? No, because I did. Did you get the oil changed? No, because I did. Mm-hmm. Keep on popping off at the mouth like that, and your next meal will be a salad with a side of arsenic. Try me. Baby, you gonna feel me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby, I know you do a lot around here, and yes, you do work a little full-time job. Excuse me? A little job? Baby, they want me out the day at work, lifting all those bags, dealing with all those ass-sniffing dogs. You ever had your ass sniffed by a dog in heat? It ain't good, especially when they like you. <laughs> Baby, all I want to do is just go in this room and rest my weary bones. That's all I want to do, baby. Let me do it. Fine, Gary. I will do it myself since I do everything else around here. And that's why I put a ring on it. You my most valuable player. I told her. That's what I do. I tell those people what to do up in here. Oh, yeah, Jay, when you're done taking the trash out, can you run me a bath? And go easy on that hot water. Ain't no need to deep fry, brother. I'm already dark enough. What the hell? You know what? Talk to me like that again, and you won't need a bath for your ass to be in some hot water. OK, I'll just take a cold shower. What I thought. Thank God you had no grits in there. We are grown folks, and we're living the life. Hey, babe, what you read? Oh, nothing. Just refreshing my mind on women's rights. Oh, that's my cue. Yep. Uh, not falling for that trap. Uh, look at here. Um, James and Brenda are coming over to play some bones. I need you to go to the store and get some chips, some dips, and none of that low-carb crap stuff either. I want the real deal this time. So now you just inviting guests over, and you're not even asking me first? Really, Gary? I don't really got to ask you, because they live right downstairs. Yeah, in their own apartment. Technically, it's our apartment. We own the duplex. Oh, my gosh, I can't believe you got me on the spot like this. What time are they coming? <laughs> James. Whenever y'all want to stop eating each other's face and play bones, it's cool with me. Sorry about that, Gary. Yeah. I just couldn't help myself. She is just so damn fine. <laughs> you know what, James? No disrespect, but she just all right. Oh, Gary, that is so sweet. Thank you. James, our winning streak against the ladies gonna rule for another week, boy. We're gonna kill them this week. James! Stop hugging the enemy and stay focused. Calm down, Gary. He's just showing me a little love. Aw, oh, how sweet. Yeah, so sweet it'll make your teeth rot. Come on, can we just play the game, please? Is everything all right, Jill? Don't worry about her. She just got an attitude. No, he did not just use the A word. Because he can kiss my A word. When are men going to understand that if mama ain't happy, ain't nobody going to be happy? And the easiest way to make mama unhappy is to invite people over without asking the missus first. Now, I know you men think we're petty with our rules, but that's how we keep order. Or else it'd be pandemonium up in here. 
Now, contrary to popular belief, women are always right. You don't actually have to wear the pants to wear the pants. <laughs> What'd you two do today? The most romantic day ever. <laughs> oh, that's why you guys was tongue boxing outside my door. Hmm, maybe you should learn something from them. Don't start, Jill. James made me breakfast in bed, mm -hmm. and then we took a ferry to Alcatraz and shared a lunch in Al Capone's cell. <laughs> it was so romantic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, today, Gary and I shared a can of sardines, and then we cleaned out the rain gutters together. Well, the sardines was good, though. We ate it right out the can. They was good. I, I, I don't really see the romance in that. Mm -mm. Hey, I'm telling you though, me and Brenda here, mm. oh my, we got ourselves a bottle of Sham Pipple. We gonna crack that thing later tonight. You Jeez. know what, Brenda, you lucky because Gary never takes me anywhere. Hey, what you talking about? I just took you to Cough Snow yesterday. <laughs> well, we towed up them samples. You hear me, boy? I was just taking them. I put some in my pocket. Hey, hey, y'all ever had some Texas toast? Oh my God, it's tick, 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 the bars. <laughs> Ten to the boys. Wait, they import the toast from Texas? No, baby. What they do is they import the bread. And then after they import the bread, they toast it here. <laughs> Speaking of toast, everybody, uh, I would like to propose a toast. OK. Yeah. Well, but... To the most beautiful girl in the world, Brenda the Brick House. Finley. <laughs> 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 Man, that's too much information. I ain't drinking of that. You know what? He's just showing her a little affection, Gary. You should try it sometime. Don't start, Jim. She's right now, because, you know, the key to a woman's heart is... Huh? Is... Nope. It's, uh, the key to a man's stomach is... No, 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 forget it. Hey, what I'm trying to say is you got to treat your girl right, man. <laughs> man, whose side are you on, Trader Joe? Gary, you really ought to write some poetry for Jillian sometime. Yeah. You, you think I should? Yeah. I don't. I'm too busy writing checks for bills. Uh-uh, you know what? Don't even go down that road, Gary. We already been there. Ah. Uh, since you guys want to have a Gary Bashing session, I'm out. <laughs>
you want to bet? I, I tell you what. Earl, you still got the warrior tickets you want to get rid of? Why not? I damn sure can't go to the game. Give me 200 and then you're. Mm, oh, hold on. I'll give you 250. Oh, hold on, Quincy. I'll give you 275 and two shots. Uh, oh, bro. How you gonna give him 275? You owe me 275. This is Quincy's. You know what? This is too rich for my blood. And my mother. Meet me and James up here at 8 o'clock Friday night and I'll take them off your hands. You ain't got the money now? Well, I don't get paid till next Friday. Eight o'clock, eight o'clock. I'm gonna be late, man. I ain't gonna be late. Wow, that's a hefty, hefty price for some tickets, buddy. Yeah, it is, ain't it? Mm -hmm. I ain't worried about it. Cause you paying for them. <laughs> How you figure that? Cause the losers always pay for the tickets. Hmm, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Put in bet. Then bet. Put in bet. Then bat bat. Bet bat then bat 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 bet. Bet. <laughs> now who's gonna pay for these drinks? Hey, baby girl. Oh, so you speaking to me and not throwing a tantrum and storming out like a big ass baby? Well, I deserved that one. Yes, I did. And um, I wanna make it up to you. That's why I bought you this candy. And these are for you too. I spent $113 for this stuff. And we ain't got it. Gary, uh, whose grave site did you steal these off of? Now, don't tell nobody. I do all of this for you, because I love you. Now, I know I've been acting like a little girl lately. Yes, you have. I've been moody. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to make it up to you. You can believe that, because I've been acting stupid. Now, I kind of find that a little hard to believe. I have known this man for half of my life, and I know when he's up to something, but I just can't figure out what it is. But he must be pretty desperate, because he's spreading it on extra thick. These flowers are nice, though. From this day forward, I'm going to be the man that you deserve. And I was thinking, maybe we can get dressed up, get shawled, get casket shawled, <laughs> and go see one of them plays you love so much. What's that play that's showing down at the Paramount this weekend? Mama then burnt up the biscuits. They say it's supposed to be a gripping love story. What you say? I mean, I guess. Is that Gary has been acting strange? Really? How so? Well, he brought me flowers. He brought me breakfast in bed. The toast was a little burnt, and it was some eggshells in the omelet. I didn't really eat that. Hmm. But girl, it was the thought that counts. Oh, the thought that counts. I've never heard of that before. I have to remember that the next time the bill collector calls. Oh, there she is. That's my fire to my desire right there. Come on, baby. Mm -hmm. So, did you two have fun out there today? We sure did, my little karma. Latte. I always enjoy taking Jane's money out there on the course. I told you I got an ingrown toenail. That's the only reason you beat me, because I mess up my backswing and my balance. I can't see straight or nothing. But cut the foot off, then. <laughs> Don't worry about him, baby. Let's let's take these earnings and go get ourselves a nice dinner. What you think? Ooh, I think I would like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, he ain't win but $40, so he can't take you nowhere nice gonna be somewhere with a value menu with pictures on the wall and little numbers next to it. You know what, baby? Let's blow this little taco stand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I want dessert before dinner. Mm -hmm. Let me get the dough for you, because I'm a gentleman. Thank you. Look at that. <laughs> I want some dessert, too, before my little dinner. If you understand what I'm saying, I need me some banana pudding. You know, matter of fact, <laughs> let's take this to the back. It's like we used to do it. All right, that's the bad toast side. Right you gonna turn this side right here? <laughs> oh, I'm got I'm back. All right, uh, go ahead, baby. I'll just meet you back there. Hey, baby. How was work? Long. It was long. They, they worked my... Girl, you, you Come here. Sit on down. Kick your heels up. Yeah. Let me crack that toe for you. Yeah. Okay, 
Will Kevin. you just clean it up, or am I so tired that I'm starting to hallucinate? Oh, no, I was cleaning. I, I, I wiped all that down for you. Yeah, I just want to take the load off. That's all. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you, Mr. Thompson. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to go get dinner started. No, 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 no. Don't move a muscle. I already took care of that. I'll be right back. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll do that later. Mm. Oh, Carrie, now I know how much you don't like to cook. You ain't have to do all this. Well, uh, yeah, you know what? I used that, that that Floyd Mayweather grill you bought me, you know. Now, the boy can't read or write or read a teleprompter, but he can cook. You hear me? Yeah. You know what, honey? Go on, get you some of that. Uh-huh. Mm. Come on, now. That's good, Gary. You like it? Mm-hmm. I'm glad you like it. You know what, Jay, we... We should do more activities together as a couple. Wait a minute, stop. I told you I ain't gonna be doing no threesomes. <laughs> let's just go salsa dancing. Yeah, let's go salsa. Look at... Ah, ah, and they... Ah, Gary? Yeah? You, you sure you didn't fall off that luggage cart today at work? Oh, I don't fall, baby. Come on, now. Oh, I got one. Uh -oh. I got a cramp. Oh, yeah, it's coming in hard, too. Oh, Lord Jesus, let me sit down. <sighs> so, so, wait a minute now. Salsa dancing, Yeah. Huh? Ooh. Yeah. Mm -mm. Ooh, girl. You girl. know, I think I like that. So, what you say? Friday night, me, you, James, Brenda, and mama then burnt up the croissant? <laughs> you mean the biscuit? No, baby. we going to see the sequel. Oh, shoot now. Mm -hmm. I know what y'all think. Gary ass and one a little old boy. I hate to say it, but James ass is right. Me and Jill is getting along a lot better. Too bad it's only temporary. Cause I ain't gonna be able to keep this up. <laughs> but I'd be damned if I let Kiss Ass James beat me out those tickets. I really enjoyed that play. Thanks a lot, Gary. Hmm, I'll never look at biscuits the same. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, drinks on me. No, 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 no drinks on me. Come on, big player. Yeah. Drinks on me, no, 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 I got you. Drinks on me. Come on, now, you bought the damn tickets. Let me get these drinks. OK, then, fine. But can I holler at you in the office for a second? Bye. Oh, hmm? office? Wait, did you quit your job at the airport? No, I didn't. It's just a figure of speech. <laughs> What's really going on? Maybe they're feeling presidential. Mm -mm. <laughs> they up to something. Since when do two grown men go to the bathroom together? Ooh, you're right. Mm. Hey, hey, man, hey. You seen Gary? Huh? I'm supposed to meet him here today, right now, this time, and I got to go. Well, how old are you two, Earl? No thank you, Quincy, for calling the Uber for me the other night because I was too drunk to drive. No thank you, Quincy, for not calling Child Protective Services because I know you'd be beating them kids. <laughs> he just went to the bathroom. Hold that down. Hi. I'm Gary's wife. Is everything all right? You Gary boy? Yeah. Oh, he gets you. Oh. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm supposed to meet him here. He got my money. I got these warrior tickets I'm supposed to sell. Warrior tickets? Uh-huh. Hmm. Well, how much does he owe you for him? Oh, two hundred seventy-five dollars and two shots, okay? But I don't, I don't think I have time for the shots. I got a hangry wife outside. She hangry. Uh -huh. uh, you can relate to that, right? Uh, okay. okay. I'll give you a hundred bucks. You give me a hundred bucks. Yeah. I give you a hundred reasons why you ain't get them tickets. Oh, yeah. Earl, if you don't bring your ass on, you know how I get when I'm hungry. Do you hear that? I do. Can you live with something like that? No. Okay. Well, I got to. So give me the hundred dollars, okay? All right. It's a deal. Back. Tell him I want the rest of my money later. Girl. I'm coming, hangry. Wait. Hey. I wonder what that was about. I don't know, but I think it might have something to do with why Gary's been acting not himself lately. Oh. Yes, ma'am. Hey, baby, I, I hope I didn't keep you waiting too long, my little pecan princess. Yeah, <laughs> my little honey. <laughs> oh, y'all didn't have to worry about us. <laughs> Earl kept us company. Earl? Mm-hmm. Uh, you know Earl? I do now. Uh, he was just here. And I think it is so sweet how you were going to surprise me with tickets to the Warriors game. Oh, the hell he was going to surprise you with some tickets to the Warriors game. He was going to take me to that game right after he lost that bet. <laughs> 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 Wait a 
a minute. What is he talking about? I have no idea, baby. Let's, let's get out of here. Come on, let's go. Mm -mm. Uh -huh. We're not going nowhere till you tell me what he's talking about. See, see, baby, what had happened was, and, and this is the whole God is honest truth. What happened, Lord, be with me. Jay's the one that started this whole fatting thing. He oh. started it. Oh, I did not. Don't you put that on me. Don't you put that on me. Oh. You the one that said that you can go a week without arguing with Jimmy. What is it? You the one that said that you can keep Brenda in. Chet? <laughs> Chet? Schmookies? Babe. Baby, I, I didn't, I didn't say that. I didn't, I didn't mean to say it like the way he was. See, man, you always start stuff. See, this is you getting on my damn nerves. You getting on, you been getting on my no, nerves because I came up here trying to help you, help you out about your little marriage because you out here messing up. You, you don't want to hear it. Who, what dude? You're 49 years old with skinny jeans on. Who the one does that? Oh, I'm the one with skinny jeans. You yeah. dressed like a dark skinned sushi roll. <laughs>